All right, granite. Granite has a specific heat of 0.79 kilojoules. Notice this is kilojoules, not joules. If you have a 2.5 kilogram block of granite currently at temperature 280 Kelvin, and you want to raise the temperature by 20 Kelvin, how much thermal energy needs to be put in? First off, I'd like to point out, do we need to know what the starting and ending was if we know what the um, proportion is? If we know what the specific heat is for the level we're starting at, we don't actually need to know the temperature. We know we've got 280 Kelvin going to 20 Kelvin, so we end at 300 Kelvin, but the important thing is the change in T is equal to 20. That's all that we really care about. So if change T equals 20, C is equal to 0.79 kilojoules per kilogram times Kelvin, and 2.5 kilograms is the amount of our mass, then we have Q is equal to the specific heat times the mass times the change in the temperature. We plug everything in, ah, 0.79 kilojoules. So if we want to do this in joules, what we're used to doing, we'll want to change it to kilojoules with 0.79 times 10 to the third, right? So it's joules per kilogram per, kil uh, per Kelvin. We multiply by the mass, 2.5 kilograms, times the change we want to affect. So we want a change of 20. We put it all together and we get 39,500 joules. And if we were curious how many kilojoules that would be, we just divide by 10 to the third, move that decimal over by 3, 39.5 kilojoules. Either way you want to look at it, same thing. So you use the specific heat that you've got, the mass that you're working with, and the temperature change. You put them all together, and that tells you how much heat needs to be put in to get that change.